I'm a conduit of love. I'm a conduit of love. Nosotros papaya. Oh, God. Hola, que tal? Bien, bien. Nosotros papaya. El segundo, la cienega. Y Rafael dos Santos. Dos Santos. Bien, bien. bien. Um, I am a senior Bobby Lee, <laughs> and Los we have uh, El Feo George. Uh, <laughs> El Feo. <laughs> El Guapísimo. El uh, Feo uh, George. We got uh, Senorita Gilbert. No, Hola, El chicas. El Joto. El Joto. El Joto Gilbert. El Joto. And the uh, Garbage Puto Kalila. <laughs> Hola, garbage puto. <laughs> Hola, garbage puto. Kalipa. Basura. Oh, trash. Basura. Uh, yeah. Welcome to another episode of the tiger, the tiger belly. Oh and God, uh, we so went good. to um, a vacation last week. We went to Tulum, Mexico, and I had I didn't know anything about it. Like you know, my brother Googled it because mm. Steve went. Steve's girlfriend went. My Kalila's sister. sister, the cop. What's his name? Shut up. You know his name. Her boyfriend? Yeah. The bo Renzo. Renzo. <laughs> <laughs> Gigardo. Nosotras, papaya. Anyway, um, if, you, if you want, if you also want uh, um, a translation of nosotros, papaya, we are papaya. <laughs> by the by. Okay. So anyway, um, so I didn't know anything about it, and I, w I was dreading it. Yeah, you know, and I, these kind of skirt. I'm not, I'm not a vacation guy. You know, I do it for, you know, my my beautiful senorita Kalila Kyun. Mm. Okay, mm. and I do it so that, you know, I want her to experience all the things in life there is to experience, and um, I, I'd rather just stay home, you know, and mm. play video games. That's my vacation. Yeah, but we go, and I literally had a very memorable life affirming type of experience mm. you, know, you fly into cancun you see the airport you're like um this is gonna be weird yeah but then you drive well <laughs> here's, here's, here's we talk about the airport what do you mean why cancun <laughs> you know what you know what happened at the airport no he no. doesn't know did, did you tell him what happened at the I airport? Feel, I, have no, I, I don't know on, the story. i feel like we have to call steve lee no no no, no 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 can we just please call no. steve and see if he picks up because i feel like his account of the story might be the we best might, let's let's get his account uh, well because you're <laughs> i'm going to tell you my account yeah, yeah then i'll we'll tell you his... my account and if we can get a hold okay. of him we'll get his account everyone right? listening this is bobby's account okay first. so we it's... you know you you land and then you get to like the exit way and you see just a thousand people going you need a cab you need a cab cab you know i mean people sure, taxi yeah. drivers and stuff and it's pouring rain mm -hmm. yeah. okay hey steve oh God. hey you're on the you're, podcast you're right now actor. we wanted to ask you your brother's about to tell the story about when we first <laughs> landed in cancun yeah. at the airport Closer. And, 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 I, and I when wanted, I went outside, and he went raining. outside, and he was crossing the street, I, I, we wanted to hear it out of your mouth since you saw the whole thing. Oh, it sounded like a fat pig hitting the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? I, that's, <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, that right there. All right, hang up. <laughs> hang <laughs> up. Hang up the phone. All right, Steve. Thank you. If, okay, fucking hang up the phone. Hang up the fucking phone. <laughs> what is that? It was sad. <laughs> Why is it sad? Uh, come on, man. You slipped, and then everyone saw you. <laughs> All right. Everyone saw you, man. And everyone the whole time, and the whole time, Steve was like, "You call yourself a man? Yeah. What? Yeah. Why fighting words? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He popped up like Bruce Lee. Yeah, he popped well, up real fast. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, that's there's a compliment there. Thank you. Well, there you go. I, I did pop up like Bruce Lee. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a fun trip. It was a great trip. All right, get, hang up the phone. Thank you. Right, Stevie, love Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You fucking rat fuck. That's uh, Steve Lee's account. Uh, my brother just said that I felt I felt like a fat pig on concrete. <laughs> on concrete. <laughs> And then said, Why? "So I'm wearing my like slippers, and and I'm walking, and it's literally in front of hundreds of like cab drivers and tourists and people, right? Yeah, yeah. And I slip, my stomach just hits the ground. <laughs> you know, it went stomach pop, first, pop, like a pop, like, like that. It was right? like an explosion. Yeah, yeah. 
and you could hear people laughing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, my arms bleeding. A your little your bit entourage later. is laughing at you. I yeah. could yeah. not. Well, I I ran over to help him, but at the same time, I couldn't stop like cry laughing. <laughs> yeah, that I was just of no use to him at all. And then I got up real quickly and I turned around to everyone. I go, I'm fine. Yeah. I try to make a joke out of it. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Because it's so embarrassing. You have to. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. And then my brother goes, uh, you call yourself a man? Out loud. Out loud. <laughs> like right? 20 times. And then he's laughing. He's like, you feel like a fat pig on concrete. Like he said it out loud. So specific. And people are just laughing. And I'm thinking to myself, I go, don't rage out. Mm. Everything's fine. Vacation is not off to a good start. Yeah. It's, it's starting off. first awkward. thing. Yeah. Wow. Then we drive, we get in a van, we drive like an hour and a half mm. into Tulum. And, you know, we get to the we, we have B, Airbnb. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And it's we, nice. It's nice. And if you did hotel, no hotel. Dude, I'm telling you guys, this was a perfectly nice penthouse. It had two bedrooms. Was it? There was a pool in the roof. It was very, it was cool. like a, it was a chill place. But when we got there, the first thing Bobby said was, Ah, this is what camping feels like. <laughs> this fucking diva. It's camping. Why is it like camping? Because the outside felt like the inside. Oh. I needed an environment shift. I see. What do you okay. mean? There was AC. No, but it wasn't on at the time. You see, what happens if there's no gas, they obviously turn it off to save, save money. Yeah. Money. And um, so you walked in. It was as humid in there as it mm. was outside. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay. And then it looks kind of modern and stuff, but you know, you could tell that We're still in the middle of the jungle. It's not yeah, in the middle of the jungle and you're not I'm not gonna have the same Wi Fi speed. <laughs> no wi no fi. They had no fi. Oh shit, no games. No not no games, you can't download anything, but I was exhausted anyway, so I would no, what did we we went out that, that night. Yeah, we went to go so eat. So we went to so here's why Tulum's great. Okay. Is we go into, what's that street called? By the um, by the beach. All the hotels. It's yeah. Tulum Beach. Tulum Beach, and you could just already tell that it's you see like rich white hippies walking around. You uh, see the stores are like high end. We're in Portland, right? Or in but not too <laughs> high Portland. end. They're not mainstream. They're not mainstream. It's more like hippie wear, mm. like yeah. scarves and like shawls. It's mostly for women. Okay. There's no guys. You can't. There's no way. Yeah. yeah. And then um, we try to go to Arca, which is the number one place. No, Hartwood is. And then we went to Hartwood. They wouldn't Both, see us. These are restaurants? Okay. Yeah. So I go, fuck it. Let's just go across the street. Yeah. And in my opinion, that was the best meal of the week. I mean, it was, it was the best meal I've had. Probably top 10 in the world I've ever had in my life. Oh, wow. Everything was good. And the service was amazing. They put the napkin on your lap, right? <laughs> Which is a good sign, right? It's a good sign. Yeah. They bring in a little tiny, like a coat hanger, a wooden one where you can put your purse and all that kind of stuff. And it was, I had a lobster. It was so fucking amazing. And it was, it was a good beginning. Although I do felt, felt like a fat pig and the and concrete, concrete. Yeah. After, you know, and then I went home and I felt right asleep. Mm -hmm, you did. I mean, like, I just fell asleep. That's good. Because the next day, we had to do Indiana Jones shit. Oh, it was that day. Tomb Raider. And let me tell you something right now. We did three things. <laughs> if I did one of those things. Accomplishment. Not even a call. I, I could have died. Oh, okay. Just the exertion saying. and what, it's, what it entails. Mm. You're Navy SEAL shit. It's not. Okay. To me, it is. You have to know this about Bobby. If he decides that he's going to do it, he's not just going to do it. He's going to do it a thousand percent. So he's always ahead of the pack. If we're swimming in a lagoon, he's the first. He's in front. <laughs> nice. If we're biking, he's going 30 miles an hour. Like he just has <laughs> pedal to the metal always. Yeah. You know why? Because I'm a fucking life warrior. Mm. All right. To, I, that day if I'm were. gonna do something, I'm gonna do it 100. percent Even if I don't want to do it, mm. just to do get through it. Yeah, that's my motto. Just get through it. And okay. thank you for not wearing white. Oh my oh god! Oh my Whoa. god! Thank you you so know much. what? When I came in this I room, didn't... I was like, George looks really good. Yeah, uh -oh. black is your color. <laughs> is this the first day? 
wearing not uh, when I went back to Michigan I've uh, changed out of it good. Since, uh, since I was going to be my good, parents good, like good. nursery uh, fellows oh, he, went wanna... to, he went to nursery convention yeah. is it because Jessica posted a picture with a dude <laughs> no are you mourning in oh, black now you're like black superman he's so mourning you the <laughs> I give you a goddamn good <laughs> reason you die you have whisters no. you have whisters it's black like black superman, superman. Yeah, yeah. you're darker you're now right. it. it's he's like a death a death yeah, yeah. you're mourning yeah. he's mourning a love I'm so sorry George wow Wait, Blacks. wait. What's Spider Man's the other Spider Man that's black? Oh, the oh, the symbiote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. symbiote. That's what you are. Yeah, you're corrupted Damn by it. darkness because of the sadness. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know who he is? Who? He's fucking um, Anakin Skywalker. Y yes, the third movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Episode three. You turned completely <laughs> to the dark side. You were to go dark side. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! You know, in the Lord. beginning, you're hanging out with young Yo uh, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Wearing white. Wearing, wearing white. Wearing white. You know, blue I'm light be a saber, Jedi, yeah. right? And all of a sudden, like the girl, something happens, and you start. Oh, oh, wow. Red, red lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. If you were a. Um, <laughs> good one, Kalila. Good, good one. No, okay. I, I literally, if you were like a tool of the dark side, and you were sitting next to, standing next to like um, Darth Maul or yeah. what, I would not be scared of you. <laughs> You'd be the worst fucking introducing Darth George. Yeah, Darth George. <laughs> I'm. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> he'd he, he'd pull out a lightsaber. I, I wouldn't like. I'd like fuck you. <laughs> you know. But anyway. Hey, good love to you. see you. I love, love you. Back dude. to the life warrior. So you're a life warrior. <laughs> so I'm a life warrior. So we did three things. Three things. Okay. Each one very difficult. The for, first place mm. we go to. First of all, we're we're with a guy named Hugo. Who's the best? The guide or he's a guide. Okay. And uh, oh, I miss him so much. I'm gonna get emotional. Um, you know, you meet people in life, no matter what country you're on, and you just kind of go, yeah, if we lived in the same town, that dude would be my friend or somebody mm -hmm. that I would really know. You know, he he's also the mayor of Tulum. I mean, everywhere we went, like cab drivers, street walkers people would just come up hey what's up and he would like they would hug him or he was a handshake guide. He, uh. he was the best this guy nicest guy in the world mm -hmm. so the first place we go to is a open lagoon mm -hmm. and you swim in it right <laughs> and you see people wear wetsuits and like what do you call it the oxygen Why scuba wetsuit? divers scuba oh diving. you dive at it okay yeah but we didn't do that. We did free, free form, you know, the surface shit. Mm -hmm. Like tread water? Yeah. Well, you, you still have the little binoculars. What do you call them? Uh, Goggles. Goggles. No, they're, they're called masks. Masks, yeah. I call them telescope. Water telescope. Yeah. <laughs> masks and snorkel. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Water telescope. Water funny. telescope. Yeah. yeah, I was wearing a water telescope. <laughs> Thank you. Nosotros <laughs> papaya. Nosotros papaya. And um, we get in and it's... Already, it's beautiful. You're you, you can look in the water and you see colorful fish, mm. and you get further in, and then you're just going. I think I'm gonna drown. Like I because there's levels of it of so deep, yeah, that you can't put your foot. I mean, there's no you can't. You have to. You're just like constantly moving. Yeah, there's some oh, really deep points. There. Real deep points. So I decided I'm just gonna get through this whole thing. <sighs> I'm gonna get to the end, God. you know, <laughs> to press the wall and then to go the other way. Oh, Michael shit. Phelps style. You know what I mean? <laughs> so halfway during it, my brother and Ilani is in the front with me at one point because her Kalila, her sister, and Renzo have to do like the deep blue shit. Like deep diving, <laughs> you know, touch the you know, yeah. coral or whatever. Yeah. And my brother and Ilani and, no and we're doing coral. whatever, whatever you're doing down there. It's a no no. <laughs> whatever you do. There's what, the coral. Whatever you're doing down there, um, you get what I'm saying, all right? So we're we're swimming, and Hugo is with us, and Hugo goes, "Hey, Senor, uh, don't move." That's I, good. I go, "Why?" Look, 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 look. And I look to my left, and there's a gigantic rock there. Okay. I go, "Oh, it's a beautiful rock," and there's a crocodile. <laughs> There's I'm not, how the distance between you and me right now. Oh fuck. A it's croc an, that's too close. It's an alligator. Not as aggressive as a crocodile. I mean It was an alligator? Yeah. Oh, oh well <laughs> there you go then. Less scared. Woo! Less scared. Fuck, I thought it was a crocodile. Less scared. Wow. Yeah. Those are like sea dogs. Believe it or croc not. Uh, alligators are sea dogs, everybody. You can, you can pet them. You can pet them and stuff. I would 
but that I'm, I'm you're not, not scared of, even if you see an alligator if I was in the Philippines because we, we have a croc country right Philippines is crocodile country okay. I would never be in the water if a crocodile was on that rock next to me but what if it was an alligator yes really yeah there's okay a- all right stop that's fine you grew up in an island where they do that all right I grew up in Poway California <laughs> And um, I don't know if you know this or not, but <laughs> there are no alligators or crocodiles anywhere near our <laughs> fucking neighborhood. I'm scared. I don't of know big anything reptiles. about them. I don't know what you're talking. I'm scared of big reptiles. I'm telling you, there's just a <sighs> difference. Fine, but I don't know that. But so I'm in the ocean. Still. I'm in the water, and there's a fucking alligator. Still scared. Sorry. Your yeah, story. Your thank story. You. Your story. Thank is you. This scared. fucking bitch right here is like you're a pussy. It's only an I alligator. I didn't say that. I never said that. Yes. You actually got the closest to the alligator. Exactly. I because do you know why? Because he didn't know. No. Oh. I'm a conduit of life. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Of love. What did I say? Love. love. Of love life. Mm. Yeah. All right. I just, I look at it, the beast in the eyes. Yeah, in that moment. You and just... I just go, hello. In my mind. I don't say it out loud. Mm. Yeah. But in my face, I go, hello. Please. Please don't eat me. Mm. Yeah. And I do, I exude all that in my eyes. Right, and I locked eyes with this thing, and I took a selfie. <laughs> I locked eyes, and I took a picture. Yeah, I took a photo because wow. if I was gonna die, I was gonna. But I, I needed it like evidence. Evidence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He never asks for a photo ever. Yeah, and but this what? is the one time he was like, "Babe, yeah. babe." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he was because it was behind him, so he kept his back was to it. He kept kind of inching, but like backwards. And yeah. I was like, "You're too close. If, you're too close." If there was yeah, an yeah. alligator on the rock. That means there's all sorts of shit in that lagoon, right? That nah, you don't, that you can't unlikely. see. Well, so they said during hurricane season, they have a lot of manatees that come through. Unlikely. How the fuck did that alligator get there? I'm there just, is a source. There's there's definitely there's a, tunnels, things, and you know. Where there's one, there's wait. He's a loner. He's a hermit. That's nah, a He doesn't fuck. This is a community. There's an HOA there. This is, Thank this you. Is a, this is a neighborhood of alligators. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, it's scary. So you know, we swam past it, and then, and I, and we swam, swam. I swam back. I was the first one to make it back. He like sprinted back to shore. I swam back to shore. I swear to God, I thought that's all we we're doing to that day, and I was exhausted. You were done. Oh, my neck and my back. I couldn't fucking move. And then they eventually get out and they're going, okay, we're going to the caves now. <laughs> Part two. <laughs> Part two. I go, caves? I don't like caves. Do you like caves? Uh, not my favorite. Like Batman, but that's about but it. But these aren't just caves, dude. This was a bad cave. This is a water cave. You So you're in the water. And you're swimming into a cave. But oh, you don't walk in. All over, no, you don't walk. That's with scary. all the stalactite, it was fucking amazing. Yeah, I mean, it it was. I'll be honest with you, it was probably something I'll never see again. Yeah, it's out of a video game, basically. Yeah, that's what my brother kept saying. This is like a video game. And we, I mean, yeah. it's like you look on this. It's like crystals coming down from the ceiling. Oh wow! But the problem wasn't that um, we went there and saw this. The problem was Hugo then pulling out six flashlights and he was like all right guys come on in we're gonna go in an hour and a half swim into the the caves basically so after swimming for how long was the lagoon (laughs) about like 40 minutes and then another hour and a half of just straight swimming yes what the fuck it was seriously the water's colder darker you go in and you just do it you go into the cave and it's dark and your body is going you know th- luckily there was points where rocks were sticking out so you could grab onto it with your hand and do a little resty rest but what was on top of those rocks that i freaked out about yes. cockroaches oh my god yes. i freaked the fuck out there's like these rocks and on it is literally a village of cockroaches, cockroaches like baby ones cockroaches. little tiny ones because they're eating the guano from the top that because there's a ton of bats up top so oh. anyways this um this cave system or this under underground river system is part of a 250 mile long system imagine that this thing goes on forever and we just saw like a portion of it we just saw a portion but he didn't wear a wetsuit i wore a wetsuit my sister wore a wetsuit but he just powered through because he's (laughs) a fucking warrior so we go deep in the and then we see where the bats millions of them just on the ceiling they're all hurled up together and it's you know you it's one of those things where you just kind of have to see 
Yeah. It's like a year ago when we went, went to the ocean and swam with the sharks. <clears throat> I'll do it once. You'll never get me to do it again. Memory locked. But aren't you glad that you saw it? That's pretty cool. Let me think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's analyze. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. We were all in awe. I was in awe of it, yeah. It was pretty impressive. I, I was in awe of my body. It's so <laughs> going like, wow, you're doing it. Yeah. You know? So we do that. We do the cave systems. We get out. And then now is the third place. And this is now we're going to... What's, what's the place? Koba. Koba. Part three. Where it's, it's Mayan the, ruins. the Mayan ruins. Yeah. You get a bike. And you see their little Mayan freeway that they use to bringing materials and whatnot. <clears throat> you see, there's this weird game, a building where there's these two loops and they played games on it. It's like their it. form of like basketball. basketball. But in some Mayan cultures, um, when the loser would get his head chopped off, but in this particular Mayan culture, they would get their penises chopped off. Okay. You, so there's, you, if you lose, you get your penis chopped off, but if you win, you get executed because that's your direct line to the, you know, oh, yeah. to be with the gods. Oh, that's right. That's so right. You, you win, got it you right. Die, and you get sacrificed. So the, the when gods. you die, you lose your dick. It's an honor to die. So mm. if you're playing the game, take second. Get second place. Yeah. How do you know Silver how... medal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the uh, bronze. Because I think four people play. Oh, yeah. okay. You don't want to be fourth. You want to be first. Yeah. Third or second. Third. Or f yeah. Second or third. Yeah. Right. And then you, you ride your bike for another mile. And then there's, this is another building. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's like they made it rock solid. You know, it, you know you've know, you seen Apocalypto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That kind of shit. That's cool. But then at the end, you see the their Empire State Building. It's just... <laughs> their it's Empire their State Empire State Building. State it's their yeah. Empire State Building. It's not as big as them, obviously. You yeah. know? Um, and you look at it, it, it just stares to the top. And it's not in an angle that's just unnatural. <laughs> like aliens put it? type of thing yeah, we, yeah the steps are like a little you know what i mean a little steep and it goes kind of straight up and Ooh, guess an who angle. ran up to the top in a I'm sprint gonna say the life warrior the life no, warrior my brother first oh yeah my your brother yeah ilani and my brother got to the top first yeah and i was a good second mm -hmm. and i and then it, you know, there was an english lady like you know in the ninth you know stair and she's bleeding and she's like these blokes just, you know, fell on top of me. <laughs> These blokes? Yeah, and and then Wait, there's what? there's like a rope because it's so steep. <laughs> yeah. That you got to climb. You know, it's not, you know. It's, Are you guys attached by some harness? No, no, no. no. Oh, it's not that, that like, you know. I mean, it could possibly be dangerous, like you would but get You would get hurt if you fell, yes? Yeah, I think so. You would die. If you, you fell so? off the, yeah, off it's the sides steep? of it? All the sides, yeah. You would instantly die. Yeah. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> You're right. We would have all died. We didn't sign a waiver. And I went, once I got to the top of that. Then and then Hugo was like, we were like, Does, has someone fallen off of here ever? He goes, yeah, just yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when you get to the top, all you see is green, green, like for miles, green trees. But then you see, if you directly on top of the fucking this mine temple and you look straight off to the left and right perfectly are these gigantic trees from miles away they're higher but those are other mayan ruins but the trees have grown on top of them mm -hmm. right and they're perfectly angled where you can see right directly t in front of you one to the left one to the right mm -hmm. so they i mean i don't know if they had topographers back then but it's impressive it's fucking impressive this civilization and um after we were done that was it were you really i mean it, it looked like you were having the time of your life from where i was standing you really seemed to enjoy it yeah because i've never done it before but i'll never do it again but it was great <laughs> what do you mean i mean it's, it wasn't my, uh... like you know i didn't have a spiritual awakening i was just like i was more proud of like oh you're not dead I that was like too. a triathlon. Jeez. No, yeah. well, my, my point is that sometimes you got to allow life to surprise you, and that's not going to happen unless you step out of your home. Um, <sighs> Stardew Valley, it surprises me. Oh, that game is evil. I actually started playing myself. You did too? Yeah. Um, I've been playing soccer. 16 hours nonstop every day. Oh, wow. If you guys don't know about this game, it's called Stardew Valley, it's a farm simulation game. 
you get an Xbox, PlayStation has it, mostly the computer, people play it on the computer. And it is, if you like simulation games, and you like RPG elements, <coughs> oh my god, it's the greatest thing I've ever played. I really believe that it's the best game ever made. Best I game. have more fun playing this game. Not than Fallout. Cause that's a, yeah. That's a... The ultimate RPG. It's more satisfying because it's Fallout. Things, uh, th things do grow, but it's like in a different kind of way. Here, it's like there's some strategy involved. There's um, a lot of creativity in terms of layout, but there's all these you really like, just charming, cute things that happen the in the game. Cute. Yeah, it's just a cute, really good game. Mm. You know, I, I finally made it to Calico Desert. How's it different oh, from, like, The Sims? Well, The Sims, from what I recall, I haven't played it in years, but it's like you're in a neighborhood. You're basically in your own house. No RPG elements. There's no RPG just, elements, no adventure. Just simulation, yeah. There's things that happen in Stardew Valley that you go, oh, my God. You thought of that? Mm. You know, like, you you can think this guy, he, you, you see his art piece and you see, oh, this guy thought it through. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fucking cute. You get oh, to own a cat. Yeah, not a cat. You have cows, uh, chickens. You have a girlfriend. You Who's your them? girlfriend? What's your name? I don't have a girlfriend yet. Nobody. You don't? I thought you said Penny was your girlfriend. I've been giving Penny diamonds, but... Oh, you get to like create relationships? In this oh, you know, you have, get married and have kids. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah, I've been courting Emily. You haven't gotten married yet? Oh, he's met Emily, I think. No, because I'm too busy making money and upgrading <laughs> my house and doing the real shit. Yeah. Some right. boss-ass shit What right kind there. of sword do you have? I have the galaxy sword, the number one sword. I've just got that bug one that you get for free. Yeah, I have I'm the still. I'm in year two. I'm in year I'm in three. Th year two, I had the galaxy sword. Anyway, <laughs> you're uh, doing it right, George. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm about to get married, to Emily. You know, I, I gave her a bouquet. I actually got a dance at the spring festival. That was so exciting because the first year I like, got denied for the dance at the spring festival. Then I you know, figured out how to do it. You know, the second uh, spring festival. Mm -hmm. You know what I did? Never even get went. Fuck it. Mm. Fuck making it. money. Dead he was really festival. upset because money. there was like a community function and then you had to contribute to making um, soup, soup mm -hmm. and he didn't have any ingredients so he put tree bark. Or so you're done with like festivals? That. And After so that? his community no, or his them. festival, the people like turn against you, right? Because they're like, why did he put tree bark in our soup? Well, yeah, you almost killed the governor. Yeah, I know. But there's this thing. That, what I like about the game is, is that when you're in the mines... Every once in a while, this thing called the strange bun you'll drop. You can eat it. It's got, you know, it helps with their health and whatnot. But there's this thing in this game. If you take the strange bun and you go into Vincent's room, there's this kid named Vincent, and you put the strange bun <coughs> inside his green cabinet, mm -hmm. you get a reward. And what you get is the funniest thing I've ever seen. What is it? I don't know what it is. Why I is mean, it so I funny? have it. Why is it so funny? It's basically just a green glob. A green glob statue that's like you put in your house it's pretty high and it's just a melting green looks like a man <laughs> right but it's just solid green and it's just in the middle of my bedroom I love it but there's all these cute little weird things in there that you're like oh that's fucking cool you know I did something happened to me today where Gunther the museum um, guy came to my house and he said um Oh, well, you know, now, you know, the uh, the city, uh, another city is giving us a reward. You did such a great job because it's all filled almost. And he gave me a rusty key. I don't know where it goes. But... Oh, it's a key to the city. That's like a big deal. Right? And no, it's a rusty key for to open something. Oh. So yeah. when, That's a whole adventure. Yeah. So my point yeah. is, is that if you like, but it's also the graphics are like Zelda. It's 80 Zelda. Mm. The graphics are like. 80s cute you know pixel eight, almost pixel mm -hmm. oh it sucks it, you in because you always like i'll just play one day and then it's like oh but tomorrow's the next thing happening tomorrow's gonna be somebody's birthday that i have to give them a, like a gift so that like i get to be double friends with yeah them. yeah yeah and then like oh the, the next festival's coming oh and then i hope it rains so that i can get like go fishing for a walleye so it sucks right. you in like very easily yeah because there's always little things that you can like complete and then it opens more of the world yeah not, yeah, and also there's millions of things to do so you have like 15 things in your head that you have to do I gotta get this seed fall is almost here I gotta prepare for that you know my layout of my land yeah so there's just a million things I gotta go to the mine I need silver you know <laughs> I need it I'm almost out of copper man I'm always yeah. fighting to get copper 
I have enough battery packs now because you can now make you can also make things. Crafting, which is what you love. I love crafting. crafting. Yeah. yeah. So it's if, if you if you like games, guys, fucking get it. <laughs> you know? But I'm it'll glad I'm back in, though. It'll suck you in. Yeah, it'll suck you in. But I'm glad I'm back. And um I just feel pretty good. I, I you know, I'm, I might stroke out. Don't say that. You know, but I have pains. Because my my sh- my shoulder and my neck. Well, my blood pressure is high. I've been taking the fucking blood pressure mega medication. Well, he went from going vegetarian for twenty days to congratulations, just straight up eating red meat every day. Yeah, and now he's paying the price. But aren't I, you also paying the price? She, no, she didn't Me? go back. Yeah. Well, oh. you've had diarrhea all day, right? Oh, I, I have a stomach <laughs> flu right now, but that has nothing to do with my diet. I just caught a bug. I'm sorry. What? That you have that. Oh, thank you. That I sucks. feel awful right now. I'm sorry I'm for really... my bathroom because I went in there like an hour ago. <laughs> Quick reverse. Though. Oh, my God. What? Boy. It was just deep, the smells. It's You know what? Because it's you. It was that cave. Because it's you and it's so cute and I love you so much that it smells good. You have to stop coming in while I'm in the middle of taking a shit. How do you sense that? That's she doesn't lock the door. Thing. Well, I feel like she leaves I a crack have open. to. If, you, if you're taking a shit, if you're taking a shit... Close the fucking door. I closed the door. No, you didn't. There's always a crack where I can look in and I see you. But why did you have to come in? He's a curious little Stardew Valley You know Valley you guy. love the smell of it. That's the problem. I do like bad smells. Uh, he does. I'm addicted to bad smells. Why? I like farts. I like when my dogs fart. I like my dog's bad breath. Ooh. I like um, any kind of poo. Like I won't. <laughs> do you cup your own fart and smell it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I think I learned it from my dad. I think it's yeah. Yeah. Well, I I cup my farts. <laughs> that's, that's not something you learned from your dad. Yeah, he taught me how to ride a bike. He taught me how to ride a bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tie my shoe and then yeah. cup farts. Cup, cup farts. Yeah, yeah. It's a cultural thing, George. Yeah. Farts. No, what I cup farts primarily not to smell, but to control the sound. Oh, yours is out of necessity. Yeah. So okay. if I'm about to fart in bed. If I can get my arm around that, because I have such little T Rex arms, because I'm so fat now, he can't reach his. Own, I can't reach my own cup butt. His own butt. But if I angle it right, <laughs> I like right, I can butt. get my hand back there. And what I do is I, with one hand, I spread my cheeks open. Oh, okay. I was gonna ask. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. But forming a cup a little bit. I wish I could do that. You mean right. you don't? Put I have it... to use two hands. My butt. And <laughs> I, 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 I open up the, you know, the hole, the hole, the, the anus, and it <laughs> goes through. Yep. And when in Rome, I smell it. When in Rome, when yeah. in Rome. Rome every single time though. Rome's every time, yeah. every yeah. day. <laughs> I smell my my brother and I like to pick things and eat it off our bodies. You know, I just did um, Steve's <laughs> podcast, yeah, and this is exactly what we talked about. What what the whole Lee brother phenomenon of wanting to smell shit, what like liking gross things, yeah, be, like it, like I do it, this, I'll open my mouth <laughs> for and what? I'll direct the air into my nose. You have a technique. <laughs> A handless technique? Yeah, I go. It's like Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah, and I. That's so ugly. Yeah. What you do? Yeah. Stop. Uh, yeah, but that's too normal just to check your breath when nobody's watching. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, and it smells. Um, he doesn't have. Surprisingly, he doesn't have bad breath very often. Mm-hmm. Well, I quit smoking, and um, you know these jewels are like a lifesaver, man. I'm gonna tell you right now. Who have you been running into at the oh coffee shop? Oh my god. Well, you know, I've been running into this last month. I've been running into all kinds of fucking people and it, people that I'm fans of. Oh, that's cool. You know, when I was at, I was doing, I'm doing this animated sh- movie for Sony. So I, it's you know, me, John Cho. You know who else is in it? Yeah. Is the kid that we had here, Jimmy Jim, O Yang. Jimmy Yang. Oh yeah. Tim oh, and yeah. I play thugs in it. It's all Asian yeah. cast. You know, all Asian cast. That's cool. I think B D Wong people. Yeah, and then um. So I was doing some sessions and I was sitting there vaping and this old man walked by me and I look up and he smiled and he nodded and I went, I nodded and in my head I'm like, oh fuck, that's Steven Spielberg. Oh, that's right. We talked about yeah, that Yeah, yeah. So that happened. Yeah. yeah. And Big, then huge. right a block away, I don't want to tell people where I live, mm. but there's a, it's, a coffee coffee it's like a coffee shop, right? Yeah. And it's, it's bougie. The, twice already this week. I've walked by it or inside it, and I ran into Christopher Nolan wow. and his kid. You wow. talked to him? No, because he's with his kid. Mm. And also, you can't just, what, this fool gets, love your movies, big fan, every fucking yeah, day. That's true. So he has already automatic responses to those things. Yeah. 
Like when people say to me, can I get a photo? I immediately say yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, let's do it quick. You know, yeah. so I just do it quick. And then, you know, I have. So imme- you have your standard responses ready always. Right. So the, in order to actually like break conversation with somebody like that, he's also the greatest director of right now yeah. working. It's amazing. I mean, the dude is so gifted. Okay, so that's a good question. My question is, the only how do you properly... like? I'll tell you how you do it. How do you capture his attention without getting a standard response? Number one, you have Mm. to pretend you don't know who he is. Oh, I don't like when people do that. No, you don't do it in like an obvious kind of way. You do it in... Who are you? What do you do? No, you don't do that. that. No, you do it as like, just you're a nice guy. Mm. You're a nice guy trying to, you know, I'm a guy that says hi to everyone kind of a thing. And you gotta find an angle, and the only angle that I can see, because he's British, yeah, is soccer. So if he wore like a man, any kind of man new pen, pen on his like, because he's he wears like a, you know a nice he, he's, he's always suit wearing a suit. He's yeah. wearing suits all the time. Yeah. So if he had a pin of Arsenal, then that's my angle. Oh, dude, what do you think of Baba Yang, the new signing? Okay, hold on one second. What? But the way you saw him today was he didn't have that pin. He didn't have anything. But you have no way in. So what is your angle? You have no angle. He has no angle. There is no angle. He has to you, have a pin. Yeah, you have to have an angle. If you don't have an angle... Don't even try. Like Judd, Judd Apatow, like when he started doing stand-up again, Yeah. right, I had to think of an angle. What was your angle? Stand-up, right? Well, not only stand-up, no. It was just I, I, I brought up something that I had seen in Texas something that he would be curious about so i brought that up and then we were able to have a conversation and then we became friends mm. you know you can't just raw dog it <laughs> you know you have to think it through man. I interesting. Hear this <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. you just raw dog christopher nolan yeah yeah Kalila. yeah you gotta protect yourself use protection <laughs> yeah your ego so it's yeah. like there there's always you know and people that are the masters of life have found angles they're able to get into people's world you know who's a lot like that is you may or may not like him is Dean Del Rey. Dean Del Rey is a stand up. He's an older guy. Mm-hmm. He's a friend of mine. He's he started stand up in his late forties, and he's in people's worlds. Like he's, he's a master in, angler. He's a master <laughs> angler. He's at Mark Maron's house. He's hanging out with Bill Burr. He's hanging out with all these people. He's a very funny stand up. Very nice guy, but he also has a gift of that. There's a lot of guys, you know, there's a lot of guys in comedy that just have a promotional gift. You know, they not might not be the greatest stand-up comics or even particularly interesting. But they're mm-hmm. good at schmoozing. But they're, no, not even schmoozing. They're good at promoting themselves. They're good at amassing emails. I oh. feel like, I mean, I have, I, I don't know. I think that, that is necessary to a degree, but not to the point where people are just outright insincere. I I do think that your work should always speak for itself and should get you to the front of the line and not your your mouth. Do you know what I mean? There's too many guys that I know though that are super talented that will never make it because they lack that. That's what I'm saying. They lack. They lack. Not only do they lack that, they don't have any of those gifts. I have certain gifts that I have, and. It's kept me afloat. Yeah. But there are some guys that are really great stand-ups and performers. They can do it. But off camera or off stage, they just don't have the skill of making friends and having people fall in love with them and all that stuff. Or and maybe they don't want to play that game. It's No. What if it's not Bill Burr or- does, is a guy that doesn't play games at all. But he's still able to have something that he has Mm -hmm. and he has he has like a he's likable you know you know he has a hometown regular guy demeanor about him that's really just charming Mm. you know tom segura our guest last week has that just a charming hometown regular guy kind of a thing but that's their angle yeah so everyone's got an angle then well not everyone like i said there are people that don't have one can and you be successful without without being an angler? Or do you have to have some angling to you? I think you need some. I need and you need to have there are 
I mean, I don't want to bring his name up. There's a guy that I know that people know who he is. He's he's done well for himself. I don't particularly like him. We've had fights before. This guy, when he's not performing, Mm -hmm. he's just a poisonous guy. He just walks around. And not only does he not know how to build bridges, just by his presence deteriorates them. Yeesh. Foundations, mm-hmm. and there's and he's not even aware of it. He just walks around, and people just go P U, okay. This guy is so funny. On stage, I mean that's a prime example of somebody that is being himself, but he has no angle. I kind of respect that. <laughs> okay, well, good. If you're just being like sincerely and genuinely your raw self, and you're not trying to play the game. I, but you, he, that person can also not complain if he's not getting where he needs to go. Yeah, Here, he I'm, I'm to. gonna give you an example of why you're wrong. I probably not. I, 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 I'm, I'm not, not trying. I'm to not arguing with case. you. I'm just telling you what my point is. You're right. I agree with you. As a right, okay. If I'm playing, being myself, being myself is this. Okay. If I wasn't doing stand up, and I was in the library, which would never happen, but let's just suppose in this scenario <laughs> that I'm in a library, so, right? <laughs> The most impossible scenario. And some guy walks by me and goes, great book. <laughs> right? Which I would never have a book. It's, it's but upside, like, suppose, if you yeah, do, it's upside down. It's upside down, right. <laughs> and it's a coloring book. It's a coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. An upside down. Yeah, yeah upside down book. coloring book. And he goes, great book. I'd be like this. Like, uh-uh. Yeah. And then just move on. Yeah. Right? In comedy, great set. Thanks, man. You do stand up too, yeah. Oh, cool, man. Keep at it. That it's not. That's not me. But I do it. That's my. Ang- that's an angle. That's a way of doing it so that you don't come off being. If I was really myself, it's over. Interesting. Okay. It's fucking over. I don't respond like when I respond in the real world. I'm just a weird, quiet kind of a guy who. You know, I, I know how to do comedy and whatnot, but it's like, you know, you I have to do things. Go to a party? I don't want to. No, I'm definitely agreeing with you. I think that if you, this is your career and you have to conduct yourself as a businessman. Yeah. And I, I think that you should learn to do that in a way it's, that seems most genuine to you without selling yourself, you know, selling your soul in a way that's like, you know, like... <clears throat> insincere i agree and but you are a businessman essentially if, especially if you're at your workplace you're you need masks you know you need to have five or six masks that you put on that kind of looks like you but you know that you use as a that's your work yeah, you yeah. that's your business you. yeah exactly it caters to the situation but, but there are people yeah. that are just don't have any masks they just have them and they don't you know it's and it's like I, I I think that well I thought you were dis- you, no I wasn't fine? disagreeing with you oh. my question was sort of like can someone get to the top without having like any type of you know like desire to engage with other people well are there any comics that were just good at stand up and like, that's it so fucking good that they never had to even so much as say hey good set oh you too you do stand up like you know they don't even have to engage with even that like I I mean there are some guys that are like super good that are super famous that I know Mm -hmm. that I know deep down inside they just don't care for my brand of comedy Mm -hmm. or IE or not IE but or slash care for my personality Mm -hmm. or me in general (laughs) okay as a whole but I can see them (laughs) right yeah Come up to me and go, what's up, man? You good? And I'm like, yeah, man. Things are good. All right, dude. And then you just kind of move on. Yeah. Mm. I can see them putting on a mask that they don't want to fucking put on. But they do it because it's usually at the comedy store. That's where that's, I have a lot of power there. And they're just doing it, you know, to survive. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, but if I we were just regular guys at a park... You know, which I would never be at. If you were to have a coloring book yeah, upside down. Col- yeah, coloring book upside, upside down. down. Yeah. But let's suppose I was at a regular guy. I was at a park. Yeah. And there was a guy that didn't like me or didn't like anything about me. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't say hi. Mm. 
you know, because that's him. That's him being himself. But sometimes you have to go, what's up, bro? You know, there are, there's a guy at the store right now. He's, he doesn't go up. I don't know where he's from, like Atlanta or something. He's just loud and annoying. And he kind of looks homeless even. And he looks older too. Like it, it's just a weird kind of a guy. Mm-hmm. And he would say hi to me every single fucking time I went to the comedy store. Hey man, what's up, dude? Bobby Lee or whatever he would do. And one day I said to somebody, I go, "Yo, is that guy funny?" And he said, "He kind of is." <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> right, <"This> right. Personality. <laughs> I know. I, you know. And I and so he goes, "What's up, man?" And usually, because before I wouldn't even acknowledge him. Oh god. <laughs> so I go, "Oh, hey." Champ? <laughs> oh, hey, champ. Hey, buddy boy. You're funny. Yeah, yeah. Hey, ayo. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Hey, ayo. <laughs> yeah. You're really corny. Yeah, really something corny. But I acknowledged his presence. You know, because you I'm like, you, okay. know, you know, you know. So in your mind, it's like he might be like big one day or. Well, it's, it's like some of those comics that in the 90s where there was a bunch of girls hitting the scene. When I started, there was an influx of just really attractive, funny girls starting to do stand-up. Mm. There was also another group of guys that had that old school mentality that generally women aren't funny. Mm. And they treated these girls like dog shit. I mean, I can name, I'm not going to name any names. You could though. I could. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to name any, you know, you know, call anyone out. But what ended up happening was these girls made it all of them big stars these guys that were bullies and they right they, a lot of them didn't make it but they were trying to get jobs on these girls shows and uh, whatever oh, right I see, I see. and it just obviously didn't work out right mm-hmm. so you know my you know in anything especially in a business that where communication and being you know relationships are important I've just, and this is a new thing for me. This is not something that I used to do. But my general rule now is to just be nice to everybody. And participate. And participate in participation is in key. things, yeah. you know. So, you know, I'm in my 40s and I learned, maybe learned it too late. But, um, I, you know. I want to talk about something that um, we notice about the hypocrisy of Instagram. Oh, yeah. Well, what we, happened? Yeah, so... I had a photo on Instagram with Kalila. It's been on there for years. It's basically I'm naked with a cigarette, mm-hmm. but she's covering my genitals with her hands. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You don't see any sack. No balls. Balls, nothing. No butt, no boobs, no nothing. And it got yanked about a, three weeks ago. And then I checked, um, if you go to um, Steve O's page, there's essentially a video of a naked woman on top of him or even like a, a videos of his dick out with his sock everything like basically as risque yeah. yeah and none of it seems to be taken down like i think there's that, a lot of like you see a lot of you know chicks that you know their their whole identity is nude photos mm-hmm. or being sexy. so it's bobby and them, i yeah. came to the conclusion that white people can get away with nudity on Instagram. And I think that there is something that there is something about an Asian man being naked that they don't accept. And that's just, I guess the people, cause they're the ones that market, right? Well, I think that what my other theory is, is this, is that somebody that, that doesn't like me, probably a comic or somebody like that mm-hmm. keeps that yeah. just keeps complaining flagging, or flagging, flagging it. it. Yeah. And then they were like, it got flagged too many times and they yanked it. I don't know because I've seen straight up titties. I know, but those aren't, those titties aren't flagged. I mean, it's hard. Like, <laughs> those for instance, titties aren't flagged. Like, those I have friends who, don't, Dog? who yeah. don't have as big of accounts as you, right? And um, their shit gets flagged because, um, for instance, um, our friend Jenna. She had a picture of a woman, a black woman breastfeeding. Or was it breastfeeding? Yeah. And it was uh, a really pretty post. Shit got taken down. 
because yeah, her it, nipple was out. But I've seen just other women. There's just, models that are just naked. No, as long as you have any type of covering, it's fine. I saw a, 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 a lady who has a big profile, and she has a photo of her as like a three three year old girl. And she's completely naked. Mm-hmm. You know, a kid like in a bathtub or whatever. Yeah, yeah. When I did that, it got yanked in a day. It did. I'm telling you, there is something people are not okay with seeing. Uh, a, I think they're not okay with seeing nudity in, in a minority. I think there's something either appalling that forces them to flag it and for Instagram to mm. respond faster. Maybe that we're just paranoid and we're trying to fucking play victim right now, perhaps, but this is just a pattern that him and I have noticed. But not only that, the photo that they yanked three weeks ago is not bad at all. It's not. There's nothing showing There's other nothing than showing. his, it's, there could have been a fucking cup over his dick, which there was, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how any of that. Somebody could just be also hate you like you said a comment i always go to i always go to to the paranoia idea that there are people out to get me i don't think so what do you think george george like i flagged it no 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 idea i don't know it, uh, it depends on their system why don't we try and repost it yeah i don't how know how about you post is. the same picture george on your profile i'll just do the same thing yeah how many followers do you have uh four thousand now that's pretty Ooh, good. wow yeah. Yeah. wow <laughs> That's pretty dandy. Look at this guy. Yeah. yeah. There was a day, me and George, we both texted each other because we were like, uh, did you just get 2,000 likes? And we were like, I think Bobby bought us followers. <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, I've never Over 3,000 of them are real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have bought followers for people. Oh, and we know comments, that. But, um, <laughs> just not us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have a caller. Can we, oh, we do? Who? Him? Okay, well, this guy. Tell the story, Clyla, while you call George. Call up, yeah. I don't usually reply to anyone on Twitter. She doesn't. I don't. Um, but what is who's this guy? But this guy tweeted me the other day, and he said this. He said, "I wish." Okay, sorry. I know he has a kid. He said, "I wish Bobby Lee and Kalila were my friends. They seem super fun." Mm. So I had a wild hair up my butt that day. So I tweeted <laughs> back saying, "We are your friends. What's your phone number? We'll call you." So I'm going to keep my word. Oh my god! So hey, we're going to call him. Now, now, now. Go now. Speakerphone, please. All right. Speakerphone it. Speakerphone it. Put up now, yeah. Yeah. Hello. 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 Tell him you're his friend, babe. Hello. Is this that friend? Oh. Oh. (laughs) 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 You hang up on him? Yeah. Come on. Call him back. You gotta teach him a lesson now. Yeah. No, no, dude, don't call him back for a while. Oh yeah, no, 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 no wait no. a minute. Call no, 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 no. You have to learn how to do this. <laughs> you gotta respect Young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> George, if you call him back right away, I'm gonna be furious. No, no, with George, him. you should call me like you're on hold. It just let him listen. Yeah, to this give whole me the phone while. real quick. I'll call him. I'll call him. All right, <laughs> we're not calling him back. <laughs> <laughs> give me the phone. No, I just want him to sit. I just want him to sit in it for a second. Okay. <laughs> should we go to the unhelpful advice question then? Yeah, first? go to the unhelpful. No, advice. hold on. He just texted. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll, I'll text him. Now. Oh, he said I'll what the? Him. I'll text I'm him. I'm sorry. It's a joke. Call him back. I'm calling him now, baby. You're freaking out. No, no, right here. Let him see what he says, though. Yeah. Hang up on him again. Hang up. Turn the volume up. Make sure it's up. It's up. Cool. He's trying to be funny. He's trying to be funny. He says, "Call me back, please." <laughs> He's crying. Now. Is it nine seven? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, he's not picking nine, up. Seven, He's probably trying to text. Though, He's probably trying to text. It takes a second. It takes uh-huh. a second because it's yeah. Google. Oh man, he went with the big gun. You can't do that. You talking to the slut king, brah? Please leave your message. Oh, for oh. Jose Alejo. <laughs> Jose Alejo. Should we call again? We'll wait. Yeah. Call. Oh, he's calling. Oh, he's, he's calling. calling. He's calling. He's calling. He's calling. How do you do it? How do you do here, it? Here, here. Uh, do this. Use my phone. You press that? Use my phone. Here. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Jose Alejo. To yep. accept, press 1. To press. send a voicemail. Press 1. <laughs> <laughs> this press. is classic. <laughs> this is Tiger Bell. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, Bobby. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. You said the other thing that I, that I got angry. I hung up. <laughs> I know, but you know I me. Mean? You can't do that have because respect. I'll hang up every time. Have yeah. Like even if you said it right now, I'll hang up on you. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll say it. All right. So I guess um, we're calling to tell you that Kalila and I are saying that um, that we're your friend. <laughs> Yay! And don't Glad you worry, friend. kiddo. So awkward. Ask him about what himself. Yeah. Uh, what's your name, bud? <laughs> Jose. Jose, I have something to tell you, Jose. Yeah. 
Nosotros Ajá. papaya. <risa> Nosotros papaya. ¿Ustedes papaya? Nosotros papaya. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. sí, sí que somos papaya. Yeah, yeah. You get it? So we're, we're papaya. Yeah, yeah, we are, yeah, we are papaya. We are yeah. the papaya, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, t tell me about yourself. <laughs> um, my, <laughs> my name's Jose Alejos. I live in Calexico, which is a, a border town with oh, Mexico. Man. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know how you're from? You're from uh, Capoue? Yeah. Um, you know how San Isidro is border town with um, DJ? Yeah. Well, it's similar like that, but we're not as big as uh, San Isidro, obviously. But, yeah, yeah, but what, um, what, yeah, what, what's the town called again? Calexico. Calexico, but Calexico? what's the Mexican town called? Mexicali. Mexicali. <laughs> are there, uh, what, are, what are, uh, do you go to Mexicali ever? Yeah, yeah. Maybe like once a month. What do you get there? Fireworks? <laughs> um, yeah, during, during Christmas season. And yeah. And stuff like that, yeah. You have, and you have a baby, is that what you're saying? Is, is, that, is that right? Um, I have a son, he's nine. Oh, congratulations, uh, dude. It's nine years ago. <laughs> Nine years ago, I mean. Um, yeah. Nine years late, yeah. Yeah. Um, Have you ever so said? Yeah, um, yeah, go ahead. That? Go ahead. I was, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan since the Mad, Mad TV days. And, oh, um, thanks, man. It's an honor to, it's an honor to have you. On it's an honor to even be talking to you right now, Collect. I mean, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And you know what? I've been doing stand up. I've been doing um, this is my third time I do stand up. Yeah. Um, locally and um, just because when I used to watch the like Matt TV and stuff like that, you know, I was like maybe like eleven years old. And yeah. To like think, oh, I could do, I could do stand up. So. Because we were so awful, you're like I can do whatever they're doing. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? No, no. Uh. Well, anyway, Jose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, nosotros, nosotros papaya. <laughs> but anyway, uh, hi to Bobby Lee. yeah, who am I saying hi to? Say hi to Bobby Lee. What's up, my bro? What's up, bro? Oh, it's his son. That's his son. How you doing, bro? What was that? Okay, bye. Can we have to say bye? Bye, guys. I love you guys. Bye. Nice to meet you. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Our phone calls are always the weirdest things ever. But people ever. love it. Yeah. This, well, uh, you know I'm not good at them. What phone calls? Yeah. When I'm on the road, I hate talking. That's right. Well, no, that's what do you mean? On... You and I talk on the phone just. Yeah, fine. but I, yeah, it's, it's I had to learn how to do it. Give me the question, man. That was nice. <laughs> Thanks for uh, picking up, Jose. I think he might be the first caller that's ever like picked up. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. On Helpful Advice with Bobby Kalilo. Oh, I love it. Hello, Tiger Valley crew. First off, I'd like to say I love, love, love your podcast. It gets me through my two-hour morning commute to work every day. You guys are the best. Please keep my pictures and name hidden. Here's my story. I found out my husband was on Ashley Madison, in parentheses, that horrible fucking affair website. Oh, yeah. And it broke me into a million pieces. I confronted him about it, and he said it was spam. I know he was lying, though, because I saw the profile through the email. A notification popped up on the computer. He had his picture and his information all on it. I deleted it. I feel like I pushed him to do it. I'm clingy and I have self-esteem issues, and I'm on the heavier side. This last week, I lost about 10 pounds because I've been so stressed and I can't even bring myself to eat. We used to be so happy. After his mom passed away in August last year, he hasn't been the same. We barely have sex anymore, and whenever we do have sex, I'm the one to initiate it. He says he loves me, but the attraction isn't there, and he says it's because I'm on the heavier side. I don't know what to do. I can't bring myself to leave him. Again, thank you, Tiger Belly crew. I love you guys. Here's my picture of me and my husband, heartbroken Filipina. Mm. We'll call her M. That's sad. Mm, so sad. The picture I just sent to you. you Let me see. She's oh. very pretty. That's the guy. They're a, they're, they're a very cute couple. Yeah, they're a cute couple. She's, That's not what just, she wants to hear. Hold on, just just to be clear, he's not out of your league and you're not out of his league. Like you guys oh, are- Oh, 100%. If I saw that, no, there's no- You guys are very even and equally matched. Yeah, and I'm going to say this is that, I mean, let's just be honest. That's He's cheating. He did cheat. Of he course, it's cheat. Ashley Madison. Yeah, that's cheating. I think there's something problematic about the fact that she said, I drove him to do that. Like, yeah. I think no. that he's either- 
gaslighted her to the point where now she believes like she's to blame for his wrongdoings and mm -hmm. you got to get out of that mindset he is his own person and he led him there no one pushes anyone to do anything he might be unhappy but your unhappiness is your own dude like don't blame that shit on your partner and don't it th he did that you didn't do that it's he did that it's a character defect uh, it's it's something that dudes do that everyone women too yeah but specifically dudes for me when they do i have guys that i know that do that mm. um i just completely think it's i just don't like i mean i don't like it it's 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 a big flaw a character flaw um i don't know what i mean this is probably more your area of expertise because no yeah because what i would say is i would say slowly get out of it i agree I agree, and I think that a man who makes you feel like you're inadequate to sleep with because you're on the heavier side is horseshit. It's horseshit. That's absolute horseshit. Be with someone who, who wants to be with you when whatever fucking... Sh if that's your life partner, we all change shapes eventually. If that's just someone who's going to be your life partner, he needs to love you in whatever way that you come. Um, and also, I think that he's he's made you believe you're worthless and you're totally not from the looks of the picture. You're a very pretty girl. Yeah. I agree. Right. Yeah. I just think that that's just dishonest behavior. And, and then he lied about it. He wasn't mad enough. She had to, you know, right. do more. And, and the sadder part is that she accepted the lie and blaming it. Like he doesn't know that she knows fully what, you know what I mean? Like he, he's not aware of how much she knows. But he's her self esteem is probably so low. So I think that you should probably go speak to somebody, you know, find a way to love yourself again, focus on that, and, you know, I think that this is not this this person's not healthy for you. Yeah, it's sad to say, but it is. Did she say she was in recovery too, or no? No. no. Yeah, I'm sorry, lady, my lady friend, friends. Or if she says that we used to be so happy. You can still find that. So if if this is, you know, his mom just died, maybe he's just going off the deep end and being reckless and not able to, like, cope with his emotions. And maybe you need to be the one to tell him to address those feelings mm. so you can get back to those happier days. But also, while you're taking care of him, take care of yourself and mm -hmm. do expect that he take care of you in return, too. Like, take care of each other. Man up. Yeah. He's got to man up. Yeah. That, that made me sad. Yeah, me too. It was a really sad ending to to our podcast. Yeah, is there another one that's a little happier? Isn't Ashley Madison like mostly fake accounts anyway? So he probably didn't do anything, but he did like still it, you like, the idea. He tried to. There was intent. I think the intention the is what hurts. That's yeah. enough. Whether or not you're successful with that, with the intent, but it's just whether what is important to her. Right. That would hurt me if I yeah, found Bobby no, on Ashley. Obviously. Let's say you found me on a website that was looking for yeah. an affair. Yeah, but to me, it might, I think that you could do it, get somebody without it. Oh, without getting on the website, yeah. you mean? Yeah, but this is more like there's a contract of secrecy. Like this is... I, 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 don't I, I to... honestly believe that I would know. Yeah, I think you would. Yeah, I don't think I would that know I'd 100%. be very good at masking I, I think, that Yeah, either. and I don't think that... if You think that I would do that and be able to mask it? Um, Now, no. Yeah, okay, there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Um, I trust I'm, I'm, you 100%. I also want to say this uh, real quick before I forget. Mm -hmm. um, I, we got a gift in today <laughs> from Austin W. Yep. I, at IDAB. And he got me uh, a 30 pack of um, Dream Water, and I really appreciate it. That's the ultimate I really, gift. It's the ultimate gift for me. I really appreciate him. God bless you. And may. You know, you know how churches ask for. Um, offerings mm -hmm. yeah yeah you collection know, this is what it is for tiger belly so i, I bless you with 20 um pyramids oh, oh wow. damn that's a lot is that our currency or yeah, tiger yeah, just belly? giving away <laughs> yeah. pyramids we yes. gave you 20 yeah pyramids. i just gave you 20 golden solid gold pyramids you don't know what wow. life you'll get it in but you're gonna get them you're gonna mm -hmm. get them not in this life you just don't yeah you don't know yeah probably in the ninth life Specifically, the yeah, yeah, but you are they solid small gold figurine pyramids. No, or they're like, the size are they of real Egyptian, Egyptian pyramids. pyramids. <laughs> solid gold. Whoa. I don't fuck around. Wow, yeah, I walk in. They're it's worth. Just... They are worth billions of dollars. Yeah, you know, and I just gave you how many of them? Nine. How many do I have left? You I have a thousand. Twenty. Left. Twenty. That's twenty billion dollars yeah, worth I have, of gold pyramids. I have two thousand left. 
so that's just you know 20 out but thank you so much austin i this weekend also i, I think i'm do i need the help in chicago yeah, what well, are the yes, push it I'm, playing, I'm playing the schomburg improv this weekend what's wrong schomburg improv yeah, yeah with jade catapretta and mm -hmm. um it should be good and uh Again, March twenty seventh, um, splitting up together premieres after Roseanne. Yeah, and we also are premiering the next night after that after Modern Family. We got we need the whole Tiger Belly watch community it. family to. Support I want to also. Papa. It's not. You're not going to watch it and go. Oh, Bobby was hilarious in it. Yeah, I, I, it's it's one of those acting things where I'm just kind of act. I feel like I'm just acting. Just do us a solid and just either DVR it or see, watch it. Is there a hashtag people should use? And on even social if you media? hate the show, just watch it. Is there a hashtag for the numbers for the ratings? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're I gonna mean? like it. It's a great. No, I mean, yeah. I, I liked it. I I think it's a great show. But not only that, it's people. I mean, the Warner Brothers and also ABC are like this is amazing. So they, everyone's behind it. So it is optimistic. I'm not going into. It's not like it's not weird, mm -hmm. you know. So it's and, and if it doesn't, if it gets canceled, what? I'm, I still don't have, go there yet. I still Come have on. Tiger Jeez, Belly. Man, I still you went have from Rose. A to like B yeah, so yeah, yeah, quick, yeah. I bro. I still have things, you Come know. On, babe. It doesn't make me who I am. <laughs> I'm not identified uh, by this. Slep King is Slep King, yeah. you know. Yeah. Watch well, it to see what Bobby acts like. Why? Yeah. 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 Or what if I could completely change? What do you mean, like? If it became a gigantic hit, I feel like you would change. Uh, oh my and god, that would, makes me so it. fucking angry. I feel like, I feel <laughs> like one, you would start flogging us. Just me, George, there's no and Gilbert. flogging going on, man. He'd flog us before I would each flog episode. you. I don't know what it means. That's. <laughs> but, I would do it. Yeah, I would I do know, it. I don't know Let me means. Google it. Get, get back flog to me. Flog gay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but hey, guys, again. Um, <laughs> We've learned so much today with yeah. Nosotros Papaya, that I'm a conduit of love. Mm. Um, that I got this dream water. Mayans. And yeah. uh, uh, Stardew Valley. We've yes. talked about Tulum, Mexico. Mm -hmm. We talked about all kinds of stuff. Um, we have got some great guests coming up, guys. Mm. And I just want to thank you for being on this journey with us. And what does that say? Give it to me. <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> it was for Kalila. It's my but. job. Hug you on Steve. <laughs> oh, That's why. Plug you on Steve? Yes. Oh, God. That makes what me nervous. That, makes me that nervous. means I am yeah, go ahead. on the Stevie Weeby show this week. When does it come out, George? Uh, it'll be out the same day this is out on audio. So you're, if you're listening on audio, it's... Uh, same day. Uh, it'll be up on when, Wednesday at 11. And um, this episode was not a dog episode like the first time <laughs> I was on a show. The first time I was in a show, I was so confused. I was like, why are we just talking about dogs? Yeah. Um, but but this one we got this a lot went a little bit deeper we went a little bit deeper so it was a lot of fun so uh, make sure that you guys uh, listen to that one as well <laughs> youtube.com slash Stevie Weeby yes thank you <laughs> do we need, do we need uh, any announcements George uh, okay. Kimmel I, I gotta break away for a second I'm gonna call you Dark George oh, geez, dark, uh, uh, dark Side uh, uh, George um, I any, don't have any right now no any shout outs anything god I feel like <laughs> shit um, when he, we were wrapping up just yeah. there I, I burped up some vomit. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, and I had to coconut? swallow it back in. Have you only been just drinking water today? No, I tried to have soup, and then I just vomited out. I have some weird, like my joints hurt, and uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. I said, feel like um, shit. You said you had yesterday Trader Joe's dried coconut, and then you had- Which I love. Uh, like A breakfast um, at, a, at a place. Don't name them. I'm not going to name them, but I th when you said that, I was like, it's probably them. It's probably not the package. Cheddar Joe's. Okay, but why would it be them when they have fresh ingredients? Well, you can still get like contaminated arugula because I'm assuming you got maybe an omelet with mushrooms or no, an omelet. Tell, tell me, tell me exactly <laughs> what, what I got, it? Gilbert. It's definitely a fifteen dollar omelet okay. <laughs> at that specific place. Yes. Omelet with mushrooms. There is a cheese on there. What kind? I'm gonna say, is it a green? <laughs> no, she said uh, it's a. Uh, come on, keep on. <laughs> go with the cheese. It's a goat cheese with a mushroom, and you don't like onions. So, yeah. I like onions, just they make me fart. Yeah, so. but the other one, yeah, that yeah. thing in there, it's not sun dried tomatoes. We're talking about green onions are not in that. No. It is a nothing else. Okay, just mushrooms and goat cheese. You know what though? You got you the sun dried one, oh, tomatoes. Avocado, right? avocado on top. That sun dried tomatoes sometimes. Yeah. God, see, Gilbert knows me. I feel like you probably would have got sick from the side salad there. Yeah, Cause that's it, true. Something could have been bad in that thing. Yeah. Oh God, I feel like shit. But um, I'm glad we got through this. 
Yeah. Very proud of myself. Yeah, you're fine. You didn't, except for the vomiting at the end and yeah. eating it. <laughs> I'm gonna go vomit now. <laughs> uh, do you have any announcements? Any shout outs? Anything important about huma- uh, saving the world you want to mention? Um, you're our spokesperson for humanitarian work. Oh my God. You are, so you better have something good. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Save the whales in Cebu, what are we doing? Um, save the whales, save the whale sharks. Um, That's never the, gonna get shut down though. Sign the petition to shut down the whale shark operation in Oslo, Cebu. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel sad about that because a lot of people are making a good living. Like once fishermen are now making like a great the living because of the tourism. But also aren't the whales fucked now where if you probably stop that, they'd be so confused or would they go back yes. to their natural? It's like they, they you know, I it, it fucks with their natural like pattern of living. They're, uh, and now whale sharks from other areas are coming in and because they're just getting fed krill, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's sad. They're not like wild animals anymore. Yeah. Um, oh, my mom thinks I'm famous now. Did I tell you? Oh, oh George really? got recognized well, in first, Chicago. First, we went, well, we went to the Woodfield Mall since the nursery convention was in Schaumburg. Love yeah. that mall. So we walked by the, like, we're walking in at the improv entrance. Yeah. And I, like, point up, oh, there's Bobby's name. And my mom was like, wow, I didn't know this. This was so amazing. You know somebody whose on like, name is yeah. in the, the thing. Then we walked in about, like, 15 minutes later. There's some Asian uh, Asian kid is like George from Tiger Belly. Yeah. And my mom's eyes are just like so big, like what you? She was talking about it the whole rest of the day. What do you think your mom would say about the content of this show? Um, uh, <laughs> I tell her not to listen, just to know that we're doing good things. Can we're you doing, open that door? We're for doing Bobby, please? God's work. I like your mom. I think she's a very very so nice chill lady. And she's also very motherly and nice. And when I met her, I was like, "Oh wow, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind being adopted by her." Your dad's she gives funny. Off that His vibe. dad's funny too. Yeah, my dad's always trying to show the videos to people, and then my mom is. I'm like, not in front of my mom, because she's just, she's just very Midwestern. So it's like everything. Like she's the type of person that she'll go, "Oh shh," and then catch herself. Yeah. But it's to say, shoot. Oh. Because anything that had would have an exclamation exclamation point at the end of it is a bad word for her. Yeah. Oh. So it's like very, but she's cool with like, you know, she's like, I'm like, it's a different culture, you know, but between different things like... and different cultures. And she's very like, okay, just, I won't watch it, but I'm proud of you for doing what you, you know, for But I didn't feel like. like I had to censor myself around her no. either. Like she seems just totally chill. Yeah. But you're also does. really good at putting a mask on in different situations. No, you're I swear comedian. to you, you're very good. was I not completely myself around her? Yeah, like, I can right. usually gauge if I have to put that mask on. And around his parents, I mean, you know, you always say they're very, like, conservative and stuff, but I never got that vibe that they would sit there and judge anything. Not I had judgmental. To say. It's just my exactly. mom's very, yeah, she's very, she doesn't like bad words. That's basically, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's. And like, I held my tongue, that is the. Th- yeah. Because I do have a potty mouth. Yep. Damn. Work on that. <laughs> Um, guys, make sure you follow us on Tiger Belly on the Instagram at Tiger Belly. Give us a bunch of follows on there if you not or are not already. Uh, you can hit us up on Twitter. Maybe Kalila will tweet you back. <laughs> it's very rare, but it sometimes happens. So make sure you follow us on Twitter at the Tiger Belly. Oh, we have a vlog this week. Ooh, yeah. It's from seriously three months ago. Uh, it'll <laughs> be up yesterday. <laughs> it'll be up <laughs> yesterday. Yes. So cause... make sure that you watch her vlog as well. And I have another one lined up. It's the Mexico vlog, but that's yeah. not till next week. And then also make sure you email us any questions or concerns to the tigerbelly at gmail.com. You can follow George on all social media at uh, just Instagram, George underscore Kimmel. Great. Get it up to 5,000, mm-hmm. please. Wow. Oh, uh, we haven't done any uh, ask for uh, any uh, iTunes reviews, guys. We're. Uh... We haven't done this in a long time. Oh, that's right. Guys. We also have a perfect. We have a perfect score. So thank you to everyone who has. Yes, if you haven't already, if you love this podcast, you listen to it, and you haven't already, please leave us a review on iTunes. It really does help us out. It bumps us up on the chart. Charts. There's other podcasts that are we're bigger than them, but they got uh, they're higher up because of the views or re- reviews. Yeah. Guys, come on, help us it's out. It's an algorithm. I yeah. think it's um. How does it work? It's like reviews downloads and there's three things that they consider but we're tiger belly we don't yeah. care about the numbers no, yeah <laughs> we care so much. but for sure del- uh, delete all other podcasts we don't, I do. and just keep <laughs> all ours. and then kalilo you can follow her on all social media at, at calamity k and make sure you flag all her photos with bobby's crotch being covered i That's think that we now. should re-upload i think that bobby Absolutely. should um post that picture again just to see it happen like, i'm not against any any form of nudity at all. I love looking at naked bodies on Instagram, male or female. I just think that if you're going to allow some, allow all. 
Mm-hmm. And you should allow my portly Asian boyfriend to show his pubes <laughs> if he fucking wants. If he wants to, let him do it. Right. And check out the show Altered Carbon. I just saw it. It's great. Uh, I didn't. It didn't get good reviews, but I gotta watch it. Support the five Asians in it. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's actually like, yeah, it's like, think of Blade Runner, but just for TV. I like the concept. Concept, cool. Yeah, I'll watch it. Watch it, guys. Sorry. Watch it. They got great reviews. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Right, see you. I'm so abrupt. <laughs> love our abrupt endings. And this also. <laughs> Save the whales. Save the, the whales. whales. No chocolate papaya. <laughs> Ka